Today we're going to be boxing a 2021 Niche Zero grinder. This grinder has been heavily sought after and I'm excited to be able to unbox this with you. So first off, I just want to say welcome to Kabeen's Coffee Corner. This channel is designed to help you choose the coffee gear you want to buy for brewing coffee at home. So I ask that you please like this video and subscribe and consider following me on Instagram at Kabeen's Coffee Corner. Let's go ahead and dive in. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to purchase this grinder um, since I knew that most of the time when you are aiming for a niche zero they sell out really quick and you can only buy them at Indiegogo at the time of filming this video. So I purchased this December 29th and this is... March 9th, I think, so it took uh, about two months for it to get here. I noticed on the side of it that it says that this built date for this was November 2020. So this was actually built before I even backed it and pre-ordered it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this out of the box. I didn't really plan on filming this, so this was actually initially was tracked to be here on Tuesday and then it said um, Monday and then it said Friday and came today which is Thursday so right on top here we got the user manual and very good good packaging I didn't even go to the writing on the side of it because I was really intrigued at what this was going to look like I recently, this is my upgrade from this Baratza Sete 270WI. The reason why I'm upgrading is for reliability issues with the Baratza 270WI, as well as my wife switched to decaf, so it would be nice to have a grinder that we can both use to, together without having to have a second grinder. So I've been hand grinding since September, so almost six months now. So there it is in all of its glory, the niche zero in black I'm excited to to give this a whirl let's start with the, the accessories because those are a little bit less fun so it's got this little wooden coffee ground br brush which is really nice this is a lot better quality than I'd expect for just like a little accessory on the side it also has a 10, I'm, I'm assuming this is 10 millimeter um, tool to help remove the burr set. So this is like the craziest thing. For this grinder, I didn't really do much research on it. I just knew that it was great for single dosing, which is what I was aiming for. So I, I bought one in hopes that it would meet the needs that I have. So we got this wooden um, dosing cup holder. Heavy duty, duty 58 millimeter um, dosing cup. So you just flip this right on the portafilter filter there. And it's kind of got a nice, like, kind of cone shaped, kind of reminds me of a not neutral cup at the bottom. So it's actually not flat on the inside, it's kind of curved. So it doesn't look like there's going to be any sticking to the inside of this. And the reason why I say this is a 2021 unboxing is because things have changed a little bit. So I think there was some complaints with. There's a little cutout here on this lip, so when you put it on your portafilter, there'd actually be grinds getting caught in there. But this is entirely smooth and perfect on that and fits perfectly on that little cup there. Now let's get to the real, real thing. I feel like you guys get to see it before I do because I'm holding it backwards. And there, oh my gosh, this, so my first impressions on this thing is, this thing is built well, and it's a lot heavier than you think. It almost kind of looks to me kind of plasticky in the, the picture. It kind of reminds me of the builds of the um, Breville Smart Grinders or Sage Smart Grinders, but it just seems like way more heavy duty and way, way more solid on there. Um, the switch is nice and solid. I love this feature that nobody else really carries is this retractable cord so it just kind of fits inside of it instead of twirling on the bottom which just makes it really nice and flush for a countertop you can only you you only really need what you 
one. And instead of twirling around like a lot of the other ones, like I think the Breville, Breville does that, it goes inside, which means you have more room because when you twirl around, you kind of have to stop at a certain point of it. The legs spin, so this is decorative on here, which I've noticed before in there. Um, I kind of wish they were solid and didn't spin, but it's solid when it sits on the ground, so it actually has these nice little silicone grips on the bottom. This has the uh, popcorning disc, so there's a little disc over the burr set on there so that the beans won't popcorn out or anything like that. Nice little magnet feature on the lid. I don't see anything wrong with this. I always just like to double check some of this stuff and see if there's any noticeable imperfections. I kind of wish the wood was maybe a little bit darker. I don't know. It's personal preference. You kind of see it everywhere. There's a nice little hole right here to put that on there so that's not going anywhere and spins. And then that fits really, really great and nicely underneath of that. So this is what you have and this is what you get with the Niche Zero grinder. I'm excited to see how this is going to stack up to things like my Baratza uh, Siete 270WI as well as the exciting thing that I'm really looking forward to is I'm going to pick compare this to a Kinu M47 hand grinder, which is about $345. This is, I think, $745, but it's got a motor in it. But what I've heard, this is a great value for money, so I'm excited to see how this is going to work. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, remember, please like and subscribe this video and continue to support me as a YouTuber. I'll see you next time.